I'm right, I'm back with some more CDs and more records that I got uh, over the last few months. These albums, I didn't even know were coming out. The Cavalera Brothers re-recorded the first two Sepultura albums, uh, Be Steel Devastation and Morbid Visions. And uh, these sound really good. Um, if you like the originals, I mean, sometimes I know that re-recorded stuff people just don't like, but I think they did a really good job on re-recording these songs. And they kind of kept that like old school sound that they had, but they, they just sound like they you know know what they're doing now that they, they can play their instruments and uh, it just sounds really good. So I don't know. Give it a try. At least, you know, go on YouTube and check out some of the uh, the re-recorded versions. But I think uh, Sepultura fans and Cavalera fans are really going to enjoy these two albums. Something else that I got on Amazon. Um, I was waiting for this album to come out as well. But I, I'm I, it's hard for me to get through this album. Uh, the newest Smashing Pumpkins album. I think it's called Autumn. I don't know. Atom, Autumn, whatever it's called. But there's like three CDs worth of stuff on here. It's It's a big thing to like really go through and um i don't know i got past maybe like the first five or six songs and i really didn't feel like continuing but we'll see what happens maybe i will get through it at some point when i'm really in the smashing pumpkins mood but um yeah so far not feeling it this other band i've been seeing tons of things on facebook about it they were doing sponsored ads and stuff so i decided to check them out a band called tail gunner uh this album is called crash dive and this this full album is called guns for hire um total uh new wave of traditional heavy metal band and uh i i thought they really sounded really good so i grabbed both of these uh, i think this one's a little bit harder to come by but uh, this is the new one so go get that one and if you can get this one as well it's an ep uh really cool stuff you love new wave of traditional heavy metal you'll like tail gunner now these i've been seeing in walmart for the last few years and a friend of mine that has a uh, a blog uh, he wrote some reviews about these kind of albums and, um, you know, he said most, some of it's pretty cool. Some of the stuff he already had, there's some fans that I was actually interested to hear because I, I, I don't own a lot of their albums and just things I just probably never even heard of before, but, uh, they're called the many faces. And this one's the many face of Def Leppard, many face of Iron Maiden and the many faces of Metallica. And there's some, you know, bands doing cover songs and Metallica and, and Def Leppard and Iron Maiden. And then there's, uh, bands on here that inspired these bands so i don't know there's some, some like i said some stuff that i really never heard of before i'm interested to hear of the cover songs i think that's kind of cool to see what uh you know people can do but um yeah i figured you know what six what is it six uh six ninety seven seven bucks or whatever for three cds i mean that's kind of not pricey at all so i figured let me just grab them and during the summer i usually go to cape cod and we did go to cape cod this year and i always go to this flea market that's in cape cod and um, I there's always a person there selling records and cds and uh I'm always buying something from him. He's very reasonably priced. So uh, I found some stuff. Captain Beyond. This is uh, just the same titled album. Pretty good. I actually listened to this not too long ago. Pretty cool. Captain Beyond Dawn, Dawn Explosion. Um, I don't think this one is as good as that first one is, but uh, still probably a good album. I just haven't listened to it yet. This one I found at actually another store that's in Cape Cod. Uh, it's Rocky Erickson. I've always been here before. It's kind of like a compilation of all the Rocky Erickson stuff. So pretty cool. I have a couple of his albums already. Um, and this is the uh, Killers Hot Fuss. This is a, um, a limited edition version. It's got some extra songs in there. Really big Killers fan. I thought this was pretty cool. Been looking for this for a while. One more album, Bad Religion. I found this in that flea market as well. Uh, called Stranger Than Fiction. So I don't have any Bad Religion albums. I used to really never be into Bad Religion. But uh, lately I've been hearing some songs that I actually do like. So I figured let me buy this CD there. It was really cheap. I think it was under like five bucks. So I couldn't go and that's it for this video, and I'll be back with another one. See you then.